Good morning students. Today the topic is equilibrium of fluid in given field of force. Next we'll find the pressure at any point of a fluid rotating with angular velocity about a vertical axis and prove that surface of equal pressure in this case are paraboloids of revolution. The final one is if a fluid is rotating uniformly about a vertical axis and is in relative equilibrium show that the surfaces of equipressure and equidensity are paraboloids of revolution. For this, let a mass of liquid rotate with angular velocity omega about a vertical axis OZ. The direction of motion is like this. At a point P, at a distance R, the acceleration is given by V squared by R, centrifugal and centripetal force. This is equal to M V squared by R. So, we are considering the acceleration. So, the value of acceleration is V square by R. Since we have angular velocity, so V can be replaced by R square V square. The value of V in is R omega. So, we are replacing V by R omega. The value of V square by R is given by R omega square towards the axis. The direction of the acceleration is towards the axis. So, the reverse effective force on an element of mass m is m omega square r away from the axis. Effective force lag raha hai, so iska direction ho jayega away from the axis. External force is the weight and the weight is mg acting vertically downward. At equilibrium for unit mass, we have dp equal to Rho omega square r dr minus g dz. Iske pehle wala jo theorem padhe the, usme dp ka value kya hota tha? The value of dp is equal to x dx plus y dy plus z dz plus z dz. Iska matlab agar system mein x, y aur z, axis ke side component of external force hai, to pressure jo denge, that pressure is equal to x dx plus y dy plus z dz. Ab yahaan pe, is force hai external forces hai, wo hai weight. External force hai, weight. Aur is pura system mein, jo variable hooga, wo hooga dr or dz. So, this value is rho omega square r dr. And this is the reverse effective force on an element of mass m. The unit mass ke liye, this is omega square r. That formula, wo jo formula hum log derive ke thai, dp equal to x dx plus y dy plus z dz, wo unit mass ke liye tha. Aur yahaan pe jo reverse effective force lag raha hai, wo lag raha hai m mass ke liye, aur iska value ho raha hai m omega square r. Agar unit mass lenge, to ye m ko hatayenge. So this value is rho omega square r dr minus g dz. यहाँ पे क्या हो रहा है? Z को downward लिए हैं। उसके पहले वाले proof में जब derive किए थे dP का value तो उसमें Z vertical upward था। इसलिए यहाँ पे minus sign लगा है। So the value of dP is rho omega square r dr minus g dz. Next, if the fluid be homogeneous, अगर fluid homogeneous है तो rho का value constant होगा। तो अगर rho का value constant है तो p का value P simply integrate ho jayega. So P ka value ho jayega rho omega square r square by 2 minus gz plus c. This is equation number 1. Now, ab hum log lete hai, origin be taken as vertex of free surface. Agar origin vertex of free surface ho ja raha hai, kisi bhi container mein, agar ye free surface hai, to free surface mein ek hi pressure lagta hai, wo hota hai atmospheric pressure. So P ka value ho jayega pi. That represent atmospheric pressure. Aur yahaan pe z ka value ho ka 0. Equation number 1 say C ka value ye 0, ye 0. So C ka value ho jayega 0. Now the value of P is rho omega square r square by 2 minus gz pi. So from 1 C equal to pi and P equal to rho omega square r square by 2 minus gz plus pi. Equation 2 represent pressure at any point of the revolving liquid. To prove second part of the theorem, we have to find surface of equipressure. The surface of equipressure stands for the pressure is function of more than one variable and that must be equal to constant. That means if we denote pressure by F and this F 
as a function of x, y and z. So, f x comma y comma z must be equal to constant since the function is equal to constant and that represents a surface. So, this is called surface of equipressure. In equation number 2, we have two pressure, small p and atmospheric pressure. So, p minus pi equal to constant. But rho is also constant. We can write p minus pi upon rho equal to constant. And this value omega square r square upon 2 minus z z is equal to constant. And we have r square equal to 2 z z upon omega square plus constant. Which are a paraboloids of revolution having the same lattice rectum. And the lattice rectum is 2 g upon omega square. Consider rho is not constant. So, dp equal to rho omega square r dr minus g dz here rho is not a constant value. dp is since dp is exact differentiable so the expression on the right must be also exact. Now rho must be function of half omega square r square minus gz and the same paraboloids of revolution are also the surface of equidensity. That is the theorem. Thank you.